Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life, and today we're going to be doing our very first questions from the dojo. All right, let's get to it. First question, how to survive a throat punch? That seems pretty easy. Step one, don't get punched in the throat. Step two, see step number one. I am Marshall. Do you like martial arts? I love martial arts very much too. Thanks. Well, Marshall, you know who else likes martial arts? Tiger Martial Arts, who obviously does not know how to spell unless their name is Marshall. Running emoji, camera emoji, van emoji. I'm going to respond to that by going thumbs up emoji. Uh, we're going to go okay emoji. And then we're going to go laughy face emoji. I don't know what you're saying, people. Do you think fishing is important for fighters to do when in training? No, I truly don't. <laughs> I, I mean, some fighters do it, some don't. I don't think that it's a key element into your training. Bass emoji. How competitive would Joe Rogan be in a fight against a low-ranked UFC fighter? Well, I don't know, man. I think Joe would do pretty good. Black belt in jiu-jitsu and 10th planet. He's uh, under 10th planet. Uh, he's also a black belt in taekwondo. I think he'd do well. And as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure there was a rumor set up that he was going to be fighting Wesley Snipes at one point. What are your thoughts on Krav Mega and would you recommend for a beginner? Uh, Krav Maga. Um, I do believe was what you were going for there, and I would recommend it for a beginner. I don't think there's anything wrong with Krav Maga. I think, again, it all depends on what you're trying to get out of your martial arts experience. I think that the only problem I have seen personally in a lot of Krav Maga schools, especially over here in the United States, has been that most of those schools are glorified cardio self-defense classes, so they put so much more emphasis on cardio than they do on technique. They'll have like five dudes running at you doing all kinds of stuff, and you're just trying to react and do something and keep your cardio up. I don't think there's anything wrong with cardio, but at the same time, you also should be focusing on technique. What do you think is more beneficial for self-defense, Muay Thai or BJJ? Why not both? What started you in this quest for truth? Well, if you talked about McDojo life, uh, that started because of a conversation I had when somebody after a class didn't know what a McDojo was. Then I explained to them what my idea of a McDojo was, and they asked, how come no one does anything about it? And then I was like, I know somebody who's got a thumb, and will do that. This guy. All right, guys, I'm going to be doing this once a week. Thank you all for your uh, questions, sending them in, no matter how ridiculous or stupid some of the questions might have been. Hopefully, I helped some of you. Hopefully, if you gave me a stupid question, I gave you a stupid answer. I appreciate all of your likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, all that other crap that people on YouTube ask you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.